Now these are non-native invasive house mice, so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna see how many mice we can catch in the barn with this very old live catch cage style mousetrap. What fascinates me so much about this mousetrap design is how it's made. It appears it's constructed from a single piece of wire that's been wrapped around and around a frame to make a complicated mousetrap design with a back chamber and a door right there that locks and a front entrance with a spring funneling the mice into this trap door. They'll go inside, step on the door, this counterweight will go down, the mouse enters the back chamber, and then it resets itself. So all night long, mice will enter and get caught. At least that's the plan. Now this mouse trap doesn't have a label, so I'm not exactly sure when it was made. But after doing a patent search, it appears a very similar mouse trap design received a patent in 1921. And after looking at hardware store catalogs from the time period, it looks like it was sold under the brand name Hold'em Wire. They made them in rat sizes and mouse sizes and originally they sold for $3.60 a dozen. Well, that's a pretty good price. Nowadays, they cost more than that. You can find these antique mouse traps for around $20 a piece. They look cool on a shelf, they're decorative, and they might catch mice, we'll have to see. Now, these cage-style mouse traps were very common much earlier in France. I already posted a video on this mouse trap. It's called the Marty, it has a label right here. This was patented in 1883. It's basically the same design with a back chamber, a front chamber, and a door that has a counterweight. The major difference is the entrance. This has a wire funnel that points down. So when the mice enter, they go in the first chamber, but they're not sure exactly how to get out. So they do some searching and go through the trap door into the back chamber. But this mouse trap looks a little more simple. It looks like the mouse can go in and out. We're gonna test it out with our pet mice, see if they go in there and get caught. And then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get wild mice. We'll put our black and white spotted mouse in the 1921 version and our brown and white spotted mouse in the 1883 version. Go inside, not on top. There we go, you can see that downward funnel. Which one's gonna go in the back chamber first? Oh, our brown and white spotted mouse in the older version. This style just seems to funnel them more into the trap. This one's trying to figure out how to get out, but it doesn't know where to go. Go back here. Uh-oh, it just comes out the front door. It didn't get caught. That might be a problem. We're gonna test this out in the barn with motion cameras and see if the wild mice can figure it out. This trap just didn't work with our pet mice. We'll open up the back hatch. Come on out of there. The poop factor was high on this one, gross. Let's go set up the motion cameras. Last night we set up our wire cage mouse traps in the barn and this one didn't catch a single mouse. They went inside the first chamber, ate the peanut butter and sunflower seeds, and with that wire funnel they climbed back out. Now this one's another story. This is a much better mouse trap. It has a downward facing funnel and when they went in there they couldn't figure out how to get out so they went in the back chamber. They stacked in there. We got five mice. So this is a much better trap. Now these are non-native invasive house mice so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what enjoys these mouse snacks. 
This one's a piece of garbage. Well, our poor skunk and opossum didn't get a mouse meal because a great big greedy rat came and ate all five mice before the other animals could get there. Now, overall, I wasn't very impressed with this style mouse trap. It might be because it's kind of rusty and the door didn't work very well, but I think the problem is this wire cone needs to be pulled out, maybe adjusted. I've tested out many antique mouse traps. Some of them work well, and some of them need a little flip like this one. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the fans who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.